Yes, how is it fucking going, lads? You've seen the title. I'm just getting straight into it. You've seen the title. I know this is the day, the day of the World Cup starting, right? I know it is. It, that's not my fault. That's not my fault. We're making our World Cup predictions, and we're making them now. Making them right now. Joe, I'm looking at the stream here. You know your Photoshop is on display, don't you? Uh, yes, I do. That's the whole point. It's interactive. I'm going to move things. Oh, yes, shit. Right. I come seem on. to have been flattened. Get it with the time. I seem, Listen, I seem to on. have been flattened. My own oh screen. My God. Um, What's wrong with you? Right. Well, um, yeah, I think most people know this is a day late because the yeah. first game has already been on the way. But I'm sure that everybody in here will probably agree that the result changes it's nothing. Yeah. Are you all right? No. I'm trying um, to pause the stream. It's not working. Um, most people will know that the result today changes nothing. In fact, it probably just reinforces what we already thought, to be honest, about that group. So. Listen, he's he's having a nightmare, but you can see on the screen, I made this, I panicked. It took me a while. Um, I was on short notice, but I still got it done. All the teams are in here. You can see the predictions that we're going to give as well for the awards, Golden Boot, Golden Ball, etc., etc. Um, there's a little, there's two little tiny little World Cups in the top left-hand corner. That is, I'm going to put them next to who we think is going to win when we go through the groups, because that was like last minute. That's how I decided. And I got two because I don't know whether we have the same team. Just prepare um, yourself. I don't know. I I think we I think we might. All right, let's see who we have. By the way, that was the uh, panic of me there trying to get to see who we are. We have Daniel as per usual. Darsh back again. D1 Millie back in. It's good to see everyone in after our sabbatical, isn't it? People saying Argentina. Am I back in England, Luke? I haven't done a bet in a month, bro. But uh, there's not a chance I'm back in England at one to three. Wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold on. You never never once did you say you're putting a bet on England to win it. It just said you're you back, back in England. In England. Yeah, back in the you're putting a bit on. No, 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 no. Why is, <laughs> not why is, why is, I need I need help in the comments there. Tell me that that is right because that is dead fucking right. Regardless, I'm not backing about one to three. France are getting knocked out in the group. That's not my that's not my cork. I know. Now let's see. Was uh, I think it's Sahib here with a bit of a stat. Yeah, there you go. It's the World Cup course he's commenting on. And believe you me, I think France could get a little bit of it. France could get a little bit of it. I think we give it a couple of minutes. Before, like, how I can't even say how many we have here. I think it says, Yeah, we've oh, 12 here, 12 here, boys. Run up the likes, run up the else. They're sharing it around now. That's purely <laughs> off what I'm looking at now. It says 12, it's probably more. YouTube takes a while to update. Golden Boot with either Kane or CR7. Uh, let's say Golden Glove, likely be Allison. Dark, Dark Horse will be Br Japan. Uh, see, Japan seems to really be the hipster pick this year, doesn't it? Well, I keep seeing people say for Dark Horse. I keep seeing people go with Denmark. Denmark aren't a Dark Horse. They got to the semi-final of the Euros. That's not a Dark Horse mm. anymore. They got far yeah. in the last tournament. I, I can't count them as a Dark Horse. And listen, the only golden boot that CR7 is going to have is the, if he has golden boots wearing for the World Cup. He's going to be nowhere near the top scorer. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think, I think you grab a couple. He want to kind of... He's, he stated his name live on air with his, with his little Piers Morgan strop. So... Best mate, Piers what? Morgan. His best mate. 
appears more. Yeah, do, do you remember that? It's like it's last year. Uh, yeah, it was last year when Turkey were the dark horses. Like, give over. Japan are not doing anything. I'm afraid they're not doing anything. They might get into the round of 16. That's about it. Ireland has more chance of winning a World Cup than England. Yes. Bring back Roy Kane and McGeady. Rest in peace. Whoever said right, honestly, Dash, please, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> they have. Uh, <laughs> bring back McGeady. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, your next international tournament will be the one that you cannot not qualify for. <laughs> and, it, and what? We're still going to it. We're going to, war, to Euro 26 or whatever. We've got three Dark games Horse and three games only. Get in. <laughs> three days on the piss. Dark Horse for Switzerland from Dark Horse Switzerland for me. I can't. You know what? I fucking wish I could say that with chess, but I can't. I cannot. Unfortunately, look. We're ten minutes into the time we were meant to start streaming. I say we just go for it. I say we go for it straight away. Which way do you want to do this now? We will we'll both from... in our fourth places. We'll we'll go for obviously we'll go through group in alphabetical order through the groups. Yeah. Um but uh We'll leave the, the individual awards to the very end. We'll leave the individual stuff to the very end. I think that's sort of the Did you get a haircut? Did I get a haircut? I had a haircut like last week. No, I haven't so, seen it in a while, I suppose. Um, no, because it has been a week since we did anything. Um I suppose yeah, I think the the first place that we should probably start is the bottom feeders. Who is gonna finish bottom? Who's going to finish rock bottom of each group? I don't, we don't need to spend too long on this. It's just say, state your state your name, state your cause. State your name. Um, right, right, so I suppose you could go first with. Uh, Do you want all my four places? We'll, we'll we'll start with Group A. Who have you got last place in Group A? Pretty sure we're going to. Would you believe it? Right in a game where they apparently bribed to get three points, Qatar have still lost two 0 So I'm going to go Qatar rock bottom. Which, funny enough, I would have said regardless. <laughs> Yeah, as I said at the start, I think we said we had the same opinions. We would have said Qatar bottom, regardless of what would have happened today. I think we can agree on that one. I think most people have them bottom. I know. I know there's this thing of Russia did it, didn't they? When they hosted it, when they uh, they did very far. Show. <laughs> No, but the, it is like a remember when South Africa did it. Their World Cup as well. The host nation usually does quite well. Uh, I think it's Qatar the, would be the ones to. Uh, I have a staff. Here. What's, what's your uh, staff? Qatar are the first home nation to lose in the opening match. There you go, then. They've made history for all the wrong reasons there, really, haven't they? Like, it's, a, it's a historic it's, World Cup. You have to think it's about their, it. It's, a very it's, their first, it's their first, and they've also set the precedent of... Do you say the first ever? It's their first ever World Cup. Like, to, no, but is oh, it the, the first, first ever, ever team, team yeah, to lose? Yeah, oh, my God, right. Yeah. So it's their first ever World Cup, and they are the first ever team to be a host nation and lose. Oh dear. It doesn't, it does not bode well, unfortunately. I presume you're going Qatar, by the way, you're speaking about them there. Yeah, no, I'm going Qatar as well. It's just, <laughs> listen, we'll try and come into some sort of agreement on the groups because they're like, the on? least important. We'll go, but least... you know what, we'll go group by group. Group A, who's yeah, going to, let's there. go the opposite end and go, who's going to top it? I think that's uh, the first place we go uh, go. We go bottom and then we go top and then we have two teams left to who goes through and who yeah. doesn't. Yeah, that's a good, that's fair good enough. formula. Who's going to top the group then, in your opinion, in this one? It, I'm going for it, am I? You're going first, are you saying? Yeah, I'll go, I, you know, I'll go out with chest and I'll say it with the Netherlands because you know why? Obviously, on paper, they are the strongest team, but you have to realise they are the strongest team on paper for a reason. They have a great, great squad. Van Dijk's first World Cup. I'm pretty sure Nathan Ake's first World Cup. <laughs> he said um, Nathan Ake. Steven Berg, Berghaus, Berghaus has been a man possessed for Ajax, I'm pretty sure, because when I was betting, I had him in, a, in the first goal scorers every week. What a player. They've got they've got firepower, man. They've got some good firepower. You know, I, I, again, you have to realise that every team has a three-point three, has a three point thing against Qatar. Like, everyone is starting with an automatic three points because, again, that was a match they apparently bribed their way to win and they still couldn't win it. Shambles. Everyone's getting three points on the board, but I think Netherlands are actually going to come out with a cheeky nine points. A cheeky nine points. I think they'll just be too much for Senegal as well, unfortunately for them. Well, I, I, I was obviously pre-World Cup starting and players dropping like flies and injuries. I did actually have Senegal top of that group, but of course, Sadio Mane is no longer present at the World Cup, so yeah, I'd, 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 go, I'd go with Netherlands there, to be honest. They are... The, it's their first one. It's their first tournament in a while. Like I don't know, was it the one that they lost to Spain in the final twenty ten? Was that their last? 
Like genuinely, was that their last time? No, tournament? no, God, no. It was uh, they were only at the last Euros. No, they weren't. They, they, they were. Yeah. Were they? I remember. Oh yeah, playing. shit! They got knocked out dead early, didn't they? Yeah, they got. This knocked is their first World 16. Cup since 2010, though, isn't it? No, Surely. it's not because uh, Van Persie scored the header. Fucking hell! Anyway. Anyway, it's the first World Cup for most of that squad. Um, although I do still have doubts over the fact that if you if you watch the Big Six stream that they ended on their coverage of the World Cup, where name, Murray name, got the most rigged, uh, the most sweepstake. rigged sweepstake ever, man. That man is so if you, lucky. If you can name a Netherlands, a Dutch goalkeeper that's going to the tournament, fair fucking play to you. It's that forty year old geezer from Ajax. Like that is probably oh, that fucking ba- it's not Bazoo or something, <laughs> is it? Yes, yeah, <laughs> mad name. But like think about who isn't going to that, right? Stecklenburg, surely not going to it. Jasper Sillison, surely not going to it. He is garbage. Um who fucking else they have Edwin Van der Sar has been retired about ten years. He obviously can't go. Um who else? That's about it, really, to be honest. I don't really think there is anyone else. <laughs> Surely you could get a fan and throw them in that probably do Listen, a sort of job. Regardless, and... it's the, even though they've got Van Dyke and Ake and De Ligt and De Vrij and all these defenders, yeah, they have like zero yeah. goalkeepers, which is. It, it could cost them. Especially if they end up going to penalties or something, because, I mean, we all know how that goes with the dreadful goalkeeper. Um, <laughs> but I think oh, that's. They've team uh, Kroos. He is the master of penalties. He's also playing in the championship. <laughs> like it's the math for penalties, right? Listen, stop giving, stop, stop giving listen, listen, it's their weakest point, probably, and maybe up front as well, because they've got Veghorst or the Pie, which. Uh, the Pie is more of a rapper than he is a real. Uh... Listen, we're, we're talking them down, but I think they will top the group. Um, again, three yeah. points against Qatar, probably three points against Ecuador. I, I, I was about to say Ecuador looked good. It was Qatar. I will. Yeah, turn oh, yeah like it was still. Bad, like they were still not brilliant. You just have to realize that they're playing against. Do you think NR Valencia is going to score another goal this World Cup? You're sorely mistaken. Yeah. Um, right. I suppose this is the um, the interesting part now, isn't it? Who goes through between Senegal and Ecuador? Are you going to put your hat, hat in the ring first, or do you want me? I'll put my hat in the ring first. I got Senegal still going through, even though they've got Mane. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna agree with you. It feels poorly because the squad just blows Ecuador out of the park. Like you have to look at it, just a guy. He's been a bit pissed going back to Everton, but he's still genuinely name you one Ecuadorian hold hold the midfielder. Bet you won't be able to. You know what I mean? Because of my extensive <laughs> football knowledge. <laughs> your your but, football knowledge, you can. Uh, you, you, can you have to uh, think about it as well. Like Senegal have still got a good team. Mane or no Mane, they have Koulibaly, they have Mendy, they have the other Mendy, don't they? The one that plays for Leicester. He. Leicester. he yeah, they have Ishmael Assar, Balde, Jordan Ayew, Andrew Ayew. <laughs> um, God, who else do they have? Um, but you know what? I genuinely cannot think. There's someone yeah, else. Man, a jetty. I'm pretty sure he's starting over a uh, thing. It's still, regardless. Oh, it's still... John Costa, you fucking nerd. <laughs> what is this? What has he said? Caicedo, Caicedo. Oh, they're Ghanaian. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh. Bollocks. Right. So we've, uh, well, it's more so me, but you agreed. We've made a mistake. Turns out the AIUs are getting in. I just kind of agreed because I was moving the teams. Yeah. His views do not reflect my views. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <yeah. laughs> Listen, regardless, Mane or no Mane, it's still a better squad than Ecuador because Ecuador have any Valencia. Yeah, but your man, your man who got the uh, FIFA World Cup, or not FIFA World Cup card, was it? He got a. Uh, the the mid season reward fucking card a jetty or whatever his name is plays in America he's so fast but I tell you what boys just on the subject of Mane and FIFA that Mane card it's the best card I've ever used no more Mane why well, are we talking about FIFA it's I just said probably like, the no. furthest thing away from the World Cup <laughs> right now we, even though it's really, in, World Cup even though it's in the game it's for the furthest thing away it's FIFA you yeah. don't go off of FIFA come on you are don't go off of FIFA Group B. Yeah, that's the next place we're going. Group B. Come on, England! Group, group <laughs> numero dos. <laughs> uh, Wait, hang on. You know what? Before we say on, I want to see everyone. You know what, lads? I want to see everyone's predictions here before we go out. And we'll give it. We'll we'll make sure we can elongate the stream as much as possible. Yes, come on, Ireland! But yeah, just start stop mentioning off. them. They didn't qualify. 
I didn't. D1 Millie said it. Right. Put you don't your... have to read out every single chat. I will. When I when I see Ireland, I'll read it out. Uh, do me a favor, lads. Put your predictions in there so we can elongate Group this video. A. England, USA, Iran, Wales. 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 Who else? Come on. Come on. Get your predictions in. Get your predictions yeah. in for Group England B and also tell us if we're dead wrong. Shut up, Murray. <laughs> group B is England to win the group and second place USA. Murray, what do you say? And don't say Grealish top. England, Listen, USA, if you say, Wales, Iran. You can say Grealish is scoring tomorrow. Luke's just put it in there. He probably won't even yeah. play the fella. That's <laughs> <it's> heartbreaking. <laughs> but he's not playing. I, Luke, I see Hugh making more failed Grealish predictions than seeing Darren and Joe. Yeah, we don't make many ball predictions. England, USA, Iran, and Wales. Right, I think that's enough predictions. I think we go into it now. Grealish and USA to go for it. Yeah, Gre uh, Grealish is on national team, is he? He's mm -hmm. a... Wow. <laughs> yeah, he played for Ireland, bro. Do you not remember? Why do you keep mentioning them? They're fucking you know irrelevant you know to what? the situation. Grealish, I passed the Grealish thing. I passed the Grealish thing purely because he didn't play an actual game. But Declan Rice on the other hand played too. <laughs> um, right. Wales, Iran, USA, England. Yes, my man. Sarthka. I think that's how you Is that backwards? Like, or... No, no, no. <laughs> no. The Brummy Republic of Grealish. Fantastic. And on that note, I think we move into our ones. Um, do you want to go first or will I go first? You go first because I know you have a I know you have a bit of a carker lined up. Who's, bo been... who's bottom? Who's bottom of this group? Bottom, which funny enough, isn't the team that causes soccer. It's Wales. Wales is uh, at the bottom of the group. Have you seen Gareth Bale lately? Have you? The man no, so is... funny enough, I don't watch MLS. Yeah, and he still yeah, won a trophy. Yeah, the, the man is absolutely washed. He won the trophy fair enough, but he came out about five minutes ago and scored a header. He is at, he's been at absolutely nothing. But look, that's all right. Chase the bag. It's America. Gareth Bale is going to turn up. Sure, he turns up when he uh when he's at the top of his game. That's when he got into the Euro twenty sixteen for it. Semi final? Semi final. But he's just not that guy anymore, I'm afraid. And I hope he proves me wrong because Nothing would, would make me happier than getting England knocked out of this group. But unfortunately, I don't see it happening on the Wales end of things. So that's my bottom of the group is Wales. Joseph, I don't know if you agree or not. Uh, no, I don't, which is... Oh, fuck um, you. Then. Listen, listen, I don't agree with Wales at the bottom of the group. I know I've put them there for now, but... Game's a game. It, it, game's a game, yeah, but I mean, I think I ran again at the bottom of that group. Are you all right sloping away? Sure. You have to. I don't I think really the stream wants to hear. Disgusting. It was, I was really touristy. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, damn right. No, he put, he's put an England bottom, uh, John. Yeah, I'm definitely, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hope so. I make it less painful. Um, <laughs> I don't agree with Wales bottom. I, I have a run bottom. In, in my opinion, I think a run are just... I mean, I can name one player and that's Taremi. That's all I got. I can name two. Does your hang bash it? play for them? N yeah, so is your man Amazon or whatever his name, the fellow who plays up top for Leverkusen. That's, that, that's all player. I got. That's all I got. I can name my Welsh players. That's the only reason that I'd have them both. But... <laughs> for fuck's sake. Um, so you're going Iran. A bit of a shock I'd, to the system. I'd, 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 I'd lean towards... I, I don't know why it's a shock to the system. It's Iran. <laughs> because you're about to hear my prediction in which it is a shock to the system. But this will not be a shock to the system when I tell you that England are going to finish up. I'm yeah, well, we we both agree on this one, regardless Dude, of how Barry stink... is better than Jack Reed is. <laughs> Listen, regardless of how stinky it is, the football, it, it's still going to top the group. <laughs> it's still going to top the group. <laughs> Look, realistically, are they going to top the group? Yeah, <laughs> you could. Um, I tell you what, looking at that team, I'd say. Hmm. I'd say Ireland would be pushing qualifying in that group. So if England don't get out, it's a fucking travesty. Oh, here, stop pushing qualifying. Would you start? You overrate your nation so much. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I watched them earlier. They were brilliant. Uh, uh... <laughs> Against Malta. Hey, yeah, come right. No more. No more. No, we weren't no more. We weren't no going. more. No more. Shush. No more Ireland. They're not in the competition. Okay. They are irrelevant. Push them to okay. the side. Well... That's unfortunate. Right, continue uh, got... with your... Who's who's going through then? Who's, who's going through? All right, who's Luke, calm through? down. What who's a going fucking, through with England? What a fucking League Cup final that was for Southampton. Uh, who's going through, in the my soccer opinion? Soccer merchants or Iran? That's what you've got. I'm going. 
I ran second. And Soccer Martins toured. You know what? Christian Pulisic is going to fall apart. He is going to fall apart. But I ran. This is where the, this is where the dogs come out to play. They're coming. It's going to be good. I think Iran are going to tear them apart. But England probably finish. Hmm, I'm going to say seven points. Iran will have... I'm, I, I'll be honest, I can't do the math off the top of my head, but England finish with seven. They will draw one game. Maybe, I think, against Wales. I think they'll draw the game against Wales. And then they'll probably snuff out Iran. Yeah, yeah that's right, Look, That's my opinion. I think that is probably the group where we have the most differences, I'd say. Probably, I'd say so. I'm looking at the other groups and... <laughs> like, the rest of them are kind of cut and dry, but that's like... Aronson Reina, but yeah, I know that, but like, I don't know, I want to be different. Listen, these are his opinions. You see my opinions, they're on the right-hand side, where I've got America second, Wales third, and Iran bottom. Those are mine. But the ones on the left, you blame him, not me. I didn't say that. For once, your predictions aren't getting fucking roasted. <laughs> Listen, time to turn the tables, my brother. <laughs> my brother. Right, we going to group C? Move on to group C? Well, 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 well what are people saying about those predictions? We, oh, shit, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, what do we, you, um, what, 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 right, who's, with... who's do you agree with more? Do you agree with mine, which are the ones on the right, which have USA in second? Or do you agree with his, which have Iran second? It's going to be so funny when Iran finished top. What's that? <laughs> if Greece wins England the World Cup, then Darren and Joe will get a typical... I never agreed to this. Hugh get the barber ready if that happens. Also, Stephen Irons better than Jack Greenish. Even I won't go that far. England and the USA to go through. Luke just said Dara. He agree. Luke agrees with you more. Well, 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 well. I know. Oh, oh! I thought he was about to say, Dara, what are you doing? You're just doing it in this typical two text. At least well, Dion Millie agrees with me and says USA are going to yeah. go through. I'm on the soccer merch. See, like it, it wouldn't surprise me. It really wouldn't. But like, where else yeah. finish bottom? Yeah, you, you know, know what? what? Where, you know what? I think I can. We can kind of say it's Wales like a hybrid of mine and yours, in it. He's got Wales yeah. bottom from yours. He's got USA second from mine. Hybrid. I like. I like this guy. He's a game of bugs. <laughs> Luke's just said you're yeah. completely wrong. Uh, get in. I'm not no, being slandered good. for my opinions we'll this see. time. We'll see. <laughs> all, the free, all the free team, all the so-called free team girls when they say Iran will finish bottom, everyone just flocking towards a dirty sheep. You're all sheep. That's what you are. You know what? Listen. I'm going past it. I'm, I'm picking the Listen. easy option. I actually have my predictors up in front of me because I ran one just before the show started. Are we going to see? We're going to say, obviously, Group B starts tomorrow, so we're about to find out which one of us is right. Uh, probably neither of us, to be honest. It'll probably be like Wales yeah, second England somehow. Watch, watch Wales get second somehow. Watch. <laughs> I can't fucking wait. <laughs> Tell you what, some of that England team is nasty. Like, I know Saka, I know how good Saka is, but come on, like, Foden should be on. He should be starting 100. He actually could still start in the left. He's better yeah, than Sterling. Yeah, That's you say fair. Saka, come on. Sterling's playing. We've watched him for the last few... Well, I say we watched him reluctantly, but... Also, very, very big, big smile when I'm watching him. Group, um, it, Joe, is that Costa Rica? Is that Costa Rica in their group? Yep. Group That's E, is, group e in my group. opinion, is. I know, oh, yeah, I know, yeah. on um, Group B, in terms of FIFA rankings, is like the highest average, I'm pretty sure, but that's because England are like fourth or something, fifth, something mm -hmm. like that. So that obviously yeah. helps it. But in my opinion, Group E is the group of death, or the closest thing to it, anyway. I think that that's the closest Are you, you can right get. in Japan that I tell you I don't answer that just yet yeah, we'll, we'll well, answer, well um, yes and the fact that I think Germany and Spain are just a bit mid as well in terms of like I, the bigger teams you know what I was running those predictors I think Spain will get a lot further than people think that's a bit anyway, of a spoiler anyway group C Argentina Saudi Arabia Mexico and Poland Should we start with bottom yeah we'll start with bottom this is like what way do you want the middle two kind of things? Everyone kind of knows how it's going. Like me personally, I'm starting with Saudi Arabia, Arabia, Arabia bottom. I'm starting with Saudi Arabia bottom. I don't know if anyone's going to agree with that or not. I genuinely, I know your man, Al Zawari, purely, again, FIFA card. That is it. I don't know who he is, really. I've just packed him a few times. So I'm going with Saudi Arabia bottom. And will we get top out of the way? Or do you want the bottom as well? Jeez. Well. <laughs> well, right. Um, right. Now, we go, um, you go your fault, or is it just Saudi Arabia? It's just Saudi Arabia. I think that I, don't, I genuinely, like, 
I don't know. Were they in the last World Cup? I think they were. They were in the group with Russia, I believe, and Uruguay. Um, I think they went out in that group. I cannot remember for the life of me, but... They definitely um, did, because Russia went yeah. through and Uruguay went through. Yeah, Russia and Uruguay went through, so they went out in that group. They didn't really do much. I think Egypt were in that group as well. I can't remember the result of that one, but Egypt... Egypt even were here. in the group. They got knocked out on, um, like, one point. Yeah, so... It's just low expectations. I think the other three teams are just better than them. Like, that being simple. If they were maybe in a different group, maybe. I don't know what group, to be honest. Maybe if they were in England's group instead of um, Wales. <laughs> Let's get Wales out of there. Come on, man. Why are they here? Um, no. Nah, I, I don't know many players from Saudi Arabia. I'm not going gonna, gonna to be completely honest. I really don't. So I can't tell you how good they are. But, I mean, they qualified. Yay. But, come on. I mean, they've been handed a pretty pretty tough group, all things considered. Yeah. It's a shame it's kind of cut and dry. People are saying, like, yeah, far place, but that is what's going to happen. I think we both agree on top as well, don't we? Uh, enlighten me. Ooh. Um, I'm going with, well, obviously, they have the greatest player of all time, and they also have Lionel Messi along with Alvarez. So I think don't, I'm going to go. No, with... no, 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 no. Would you I think still... go Argentina? You are so oh. shameless. It's unbelievable. The greatest Argentina. player of all time, Top and Lionel Messi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going with Argentina. I just think that's, you know what? They have this record now, don't they, where it's. Um, it's uh, 60 odd games unbeaten. I think they're two games. No, not 60. It's 36 games unbeaten. Two off the Italy record, which is at 38. I have a feeling they're going to do that. I don't see why they won't do that. I mean, I just, you just have to look at our squad. It's not even just the members, it's the whole kind of good, what, what would you call it? A feel good factor around the, the well, team. Well, they're off the, the back of a team. successful international tournament. Yeah. And they haven't lost in ages, and they're keeping mm-hmm. lots of clean sheets. Plus, they have the best like, player to have ever played the game still going. And Lionel Messi. No, no. no listen, those are his no, opinions. But, uh, honestly, it's the... Um, it's the Even the, the feel-good factor on the team right now, they're all kind of coming together for Messi. You've seen this Rodrigo De Paul as much of a dick as he is. <laughs> he's, uh, as much of a generational cock muncher as he is, he has Messi's best interest in how It seems like everyone wants him to win. I think we're... Well... Obviously, you'll be in the England camp, of course, but I'm Am I? even... It, look, I if you care. wanted someone to win, surely it's them, but I'm sat here as someone who would love England to get knocked out. I'm just saying, I just want Argentina to win it. I just really, really want Argentina to win it. Not that he has much else to say in the GOAT debate, but, I mean, it's cut and dry more so if he wins this, in my opinion. But I think this is going to be an interesting one because I'm looking here at these middle two and I still haven't completely made my mind up I know what mine is straight away. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a decision and I'm gonna stick to it. Uh will I go first? Do you go first if you are if you've made your decision? I think I've kind of made my decision, but I'm on edge about it. Gonna, it could be a bit of a shock see, because your man Jimenez is such a bit such a bag of shite really since he got the headache, but I'm gonna go with Mexico second. Uh, that was my exact prediction as well. I think that <laughs> I don't, and it's not necessarily because of Mexico being good. It's more to do with the fact that Poland are usually awful in competitions. Like, they usually disappoint. They usually don't go as far as people think in um, international competitions. They usually don't do too yeah. well. At least not in recent times, anyway. So, I'd go with Mexico Sorry, second. They also have the, uh, the, uh, the Ochoa fellow who only ever turns up for a World Cup. <laughs> So. It's pretty smart as well. Yeah, there he is, Bruno. Bruno straight in with a. Apologies, <sighs> but Matty Cash is not the answer. Ah, oh, Matty Cash. He's. <laughs> I'll never forget when he scored in front of us. That was my most depressing. Like ten minutes of my life. It's Matty yeah, Cash. Eleven, di- Learning eleven Polish. Dizzy. They they Learning. just all oh, they always disappoint me in international tournaments. They never never like they have a good team on paper, but they never do anything in tournaments. Yeah, like it's he been a while. He's actually alright. Yeah, but again, they've, how long have they had Lewandowski for and how many times have they got out of the group in the international tournament, I think? Pensiano Crinaldo will not win the World Cup, but I will be blocked uh, since he will go Lears Lorgan yeah. for help. Dash, mate, be careful what you say about him. You've got to tell Piers Morgan on you. <laughs> Too fair, agree, but yeah, that's why that's what we talk about on our Villa, a serial butler. Why are Villa catching strays? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Feel like I just try as right. Everyone. What if they bottled? <laughs> what fucking big <laughs> <the> table? <laughs> Top half. <laughs> they bottled survival, evidently. But look, get your um, get your predictions in for that. I tell you what, we're gonna give. Uh, I think we'll give our predictions before we get people to start giving them after because I forgot to do the one before at that time. So give us, all give us your predictions before we go into Group D, which could maybe contain a surprise. That's a little ball, t- uh, ball taken that but it's not really. Um, do you want me to put get my your prediction have a fully fit squad? Yeah, run up the likes. But run up the demon. likes. We're, sit, we're, we're sitting here waiting for 5k. Do you know what we're currently at, right? Let me just pull out the found the statistics. We're actually one off 4,400, so one subscriber would be really, really sweet, to be honest with you. Then we're 600 off the golf at the end of the year, which, why not? Why not? No, John, Group C, you fucking mug. Yeah, well, we'll take Group D. At least we have one prediction in there early on. But um, D1 Millie saying Mexico don't have a fully fit squad. Uh, because Jimenez is number one striker. Uh, again, to be honest, you said Poland second. I just think po- it's more to do with the fact of Poland just being naff at tournaments. It's yeah, not because they, Mexico they are, even in the one that they hosted, they were a bit shit, weren't they? It's not because uh, Mexico were outstanding or anything. Like their, their main man is a like a what a thirty three year old MLS Carlos Vela. Yeah, like, it's not great, it. is it? But it's Bruno like, Mero, Tech, sent me a there, snap. Also, I have to say, Mexico usually actually do all right at tournaments. They they usually do okay, yeah, usually well, fairly stage, decent. Stage. So that's just my thinking. On the group. I think you know what I think they're going out. Unfortunately, well, sorry, I think they're going through Mexico. Mexico are going through. Messi can can rest for the whole group stage. Oh, I thought he was about. I thought you'd say Messi was going to rest for the group stage. That would have made me upset. Saudi Arabia clearly going through. Fantastic, right. A couple of predictions, predictions for Group D. Obviously, I'm John with the France, Denmark, Tunisia, <laughs> Australia. Dan with the Denmark, France, Australia, Tunisia. Completely nothing the same there. Wow. A bit close, but nothing the same. How where was it? Um, that was... Uh, Wait, what, France? Dan, Which Denmark. one are you disagreeing with? No, I'm not disagreeing with any of them. I'm just seeing the, the predictions. John said France, Denmark, Tunisia, Australia. Daniel said Denmark, France, Australia, Tunisia. Um yeah. Couple of predictions in there, John, with that they've gotten out of the groups in the last seven World Cups. Mexico, there you go. Then mm. they're just they usually are right in tournaments. Poland aren't. It's nothing to do with the squads. If I'm going purely based on squads, Poland are better, but it's you, not about that. Saratak, you'll see that at the end of the stream, not the end of the stream, but see it as we get on, right? Um, that see, you'll see in Joe's World Cup predictions graphic, we'll have everything there beside it, so you will see it. But on today. Excuse me. On to a, a now interesting group in light of recent events with the whole Nkunku being rolled out, the whole Benzema being rolled out. I think we have to go on to Group D, but starting off with the bottom feeder, I think by default everyone's kind of leaning Tunisia and I have to lean that way as well. You're leaning Tunisia? Bottom, yeah. Tunisia bottom. Uh, oh. That's mad. You didn't think I was saying going through, did you? No, but that's mad. Uh, I'm going. I d- I don't really know who they have. It might just be a lack of in a lack of not lack of interest. That's oh, mad because my prediction is Australia. To you see, on. that's that is understandable. It's literally one of the two. I couldn't really name you an Australian other than what is it? The Aussie, the Aussie Aaron, or the Aussie Zidane, isn't it? That's the it. Australian Murray, it? Zidane, know. Aaron Moy. <laughs> like, Mute it for every board, brother. It'll be a long stream. Yeah, try not to burp. It's disgusting. I try not to. Who, sorry. Who do who do um Tunisia have? I'm basically going off the fact that I'm pretty sure in the last World Cup in Russia they almost nicked a point off of England in the group stages. <laughs> that was the day I landed in Spain. We were on Spain on holiday, right? That was the day I landed. I got in to see the fucking last minute winner. I was seeing. Has has Australia got any of the home and away cast? Yeah, Chris Hemsworth playing left wing for them. Um, I suppose we'll go top, won't we? Well, we'll go top. I think it's very interesting. Um, I'm going. Do you want me to lean in straight away? You go straight away. I'm going for a little bit of Denmark at the top of the group. Denmark are going to top this group. I don't know how much of a hot take per se it is. I don't think it's a hot I take just, because it's I agree. Not really as well. I think jo- <laughs> you know what? I have a feeling Joe's going to agree with me. I do. But I'm looking at it. From a sense of the World Cup course is well and truly it, 
Luke just said France gone third, brilliant, mate. Um, the World Cup course is well and truly on. Two of our better players, definitely the best player, Arrow in second best player, maybe. Oof. Mbappe doesn't. I mean, there's been a bit of a disconnect with him over the years. Will... Benzema's not their best gonna... player because Benzema this season hasn't been as good as he was yeah, last season. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. I, suppose, oh. yeah. I think he's not well, the he best, did... but he's still. You're still going to take into account. Like, he's the Ballon d'Or mm. holder and he's out injured. Um, this will probably be his last World Cup as well, or it would have been anyway, so that's probably him done internationally as well. Um, Unkunku's a big miss. He was. Was he top scorer in Bundesliga or second top scorer in Bundesliga last oh, he, season? Look, he, he had too many goals to ignore. He, he had so many Bundesliga. goals, it was unbelievable. He scored loads against us as well. Like He's just absolutely on fire. Um, and then he was ruled out as well. There's no Pogba and Kante, which was their World Cup winning midfield too, because they're both injured. They're leaning towards starting Rabiot, which is going to be an absolute disaster, in my opinion, because he's not very good. Um, yeah. Who else do they have out injured? I think um, Di Varane, my nan. Yeah, they're gonna have to start fucking Hugo Lloris and his pop it on he wrists. Um, who else do they have? They have Kim Pempe's injured as well. Did Varane end up going? That's a good question. I don't know if he did because I know they're leaning towards starting with Upamecano and Canate. Yeah. In defence at the moment because there's no Kim Pempe. I don't know whether Varane went. I have no idea because he's he's usually injured at United. So they've got yeah, a load of injuries. Is going. Fucking Listen, dog, they've they've got a load of injuries. The World Cup curse is real. You saw what happened to Germany. They lost to South Korea and got knocked out. Um, mm-hmm. Like that's that's just what it is. It just seems to be whoever wins the tournament. Like they just don't do well, and that is something that has. Well, it's always been really, hasn't it? Well, has been the last few times, and it's not. It won't be enough for them to to. I, I I'm I'm going to move on straight away and put them in second. I don't think it's enough for them to lose, like not qualify or anything, because I think that group, they should be qualifying regardless of this whole World Cup curse. Because, I mean, they're France. They have far too much quality, and Mbappe could carry them through single handedly through that group, in my opinion. But. Again, at the same time, France themselves, it's not even just the winner's curse. Like, they're just prone to imploding anyway sometimes. Like, that France camp in has... as well. That France camp has been prone to just exploding out of nowhere, just completely, you know, going tits up and players being unhappy and not getting out of the group. But I, I, I think you'll agree with me they're in second, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. yeah. They have to be. Like, they're just... They're not bad enough to go out. I, look, I think they'll be... Uh, judging off, I think the way we have a stud, they will meet Argentina in the round of six. No. Will it, will it be? Uh, yeah, it will be them to meet them. I think, spoiler alert, that'll be the point. <laughs> that will be the point that they just pop away, I think. And then you see third in that group, and it's obviously just the two remaining teams, which, I mean, third and fourth, we just have the other way around, which doesn't matter because they're both going out. Yeah. So... It doesn't really matter too much, I suppose. Um, I did see it in the couple of predictions that we saw. It was it was same thing, but different. You know what I mean? Everyone sort of had Denmark and France going through in some order, and everyone seemed to have Australia and Tunisia going out in some order. Yeah. There wasn't really too it much difference. It was, just, it, difference. it was just the order in which the group was labelled. I think most people would have the same people going through in this group. Like that's why I think France, even though the World Cup curse, it's it's not enough for them to go out of that group. If they do, that's a shock already. That'll probably be one yeah. of the biggest shocks of the tournament. I can't see it though. I just can't see it. I think it's not a cut and dried group what we've just covered, but I mean the two that are going through the two that we have gone through will definitely go through and the two we have gone out will go out. <laughs> Australia bottom again makes no real difference to be honest. They'll probably both end up in the same amount of points. Get your Group E predictions in. Your Group E for Spain, Costa Rica, Germany, and Japan. Get them in now. Alex Hayes, France going out in the group stage. I tell you what, if your track record over the last year, Lasbro has any, uh, has any fucking uh, bearing on it, then yes, they probably will. That man is a god with the predictions lately. Uh, yeah, but go Group E. Get your predictions in now, or else. That's all or else, or yeah. else, and like the stream as well. Oh yeah, or else, like, subscribe, or else. Get us, We're get sending threats now. Listen, we've moved past the please. Come on now. Uh, 
It's obviously one more, if we're still at stub off 4,400, so if we don't get that in the next 15 minutes, then you'll see what happens. We don't want to know <laughs> what happens, but you will happen. see what happens. Right? Subscribe, yeah. like, keep commenting on the stream. That does if I can spoil it for you now, well. if I can spoil it for you now, if you don't do that, nothing will happen. Don't no, don't say that. that. Shut up. Right, come on. Come on, man. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, okay, fine. If you don't like this stream, share it around and subscribe. Your, your favourite team won't get out of the World Cup group stage. I'm sorry. It's it's a it's a given. We that's a fucking a that's a reward. Because that's a you reward. You just lost a subscriber because of the trip, right? Yeah, that's what I mean. Don't threaten people. That's a reward having their favorite team go at the World Cup. Imagine that players coming home early from the World Cup, not having to play extra games. Yeah, oh, here I'd love for England to go home early. One because it's funny. Two because it means that five of our players are pretty much guaranteed to be fit. Probably not Kyle Walker though, because again he's on the uh, prepare for England games. Um. We've got What's some uh, predictions. D1 Millie, Germany, Japan, Spain, Costa Rica. Ooh. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. John Costa, Germany, Spain, Japan, Costa Rica. Alex Hayes, Spain, Germany, Japan, Costa Rica. Spain going semis. Kerwin, Spain, Germany, Japan, Costa Rica. It seems to be a lot of sort of Spain and Germany going through. Apart from D1 Millie. Costa Rica doubters are out on us, I went far, so I'm happy to put my name <laughs> down on that. Spain, Japan, Germany, and Costa Rica. Dar saying Germany will go out. Mm, interesting. D1 Millie saying Japan is 100% going through. You know what? I back it, but I don't at the same time. I could. I back my Japanese brethren, but I don't think it's going to happen. Will we go straight away from the bottom? I mean, we kind of know. God, Fred, it's, it's Every... Brian Ruiz's <laughs> own Costa Rica. Brian Ruiz is going to the World Cup. He's about 40, right? What a player. He's a street, so never forget, by the way. But unfortunately, Brian is sitting at the bottom of the table. Brian with a boy as well, so it's kind of cooler than just Brian with an eye. Spain are going out. We're getting a lot of Spain going out. Uh, do we agree, though? Do we agree, Joe? What should we go top? Will we go top? You know what? I'm, I, I'll try. By the way, 4,400 threats work. Bullion works. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go España top. A Spania. And that puts them on the easier side of the draw, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. Not a clue. <laughs> not I'll tell you now, because I have predictions here. That leaves them on Ooh, no it doesn't. <laughs> You're gonna have to be my I mean we're not gonna predict the knockouts. We're just gonna predict the winner. These don't need the groups. Oh are we? I haven't prepared anything for the knockouts. I'm not going that far. That is, like, too precise. We don't need to do that. Right. Fair enough. That's predict fair the winner, enough. though, when, like, yeah. he loses the we'll, final. Tell you what, we'll predict who gets to the semi-finals. Is that fair enough? We just won't put it on the screen. Yeah, again, you're in charge of that, because I don't have that in front of me. I don't have the facilities. Anyway, right, Spain... Anyway, we'll go, we can go game for game and just don't give any reasons why. We're giving our reasons now, but I have the charter in front of me. So Listen... We've gone Spain numero uno. Uno. Numero uno. Um, which seems to be controversial. Most people are thinking he had Germany top of the group, which... That, that Matoma guy is on it, dear one, Millie. That Matoma is so good. Listen, I have Spain top of the group because even though they have Alvaro Mora, Germany have Kai Havertz, so it's not much better. <laughs> um, Ferran Torres and Mora up front. I like the slide egg, bro. I, re I respect it. I respect it. Uh, yeah, but they have Fatty and they have Pedri and they have all the, the Gavi and all the Barca. Pedri, boys. isn't it this fucking nonsense about Gavi and Pedri, right? Gavi and Pedri. Pedri's a good baller, but my God, this they produce eight. the same midfielder every year, like eight. every single year. They also have us. Uh, they also have Asensio playing as a false nine sometimes. You leave him alone. Also, Ooh. Enrique is doing Twitch streams. Breaking down his oh, tactics. Oh, that, 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 gives it, that, that, that gives him extra points for me. That's why I'm <laughs> going through. Um, I, I think the top of the group. Um, right, do you want to move to Germany and Japan? Who's going through? Any shocks? Um, Germany and Japan. In my opinion, no shock. I'm, not, I'm, a, I'm a pragmatic man here, but I'm going for Spain, Germany, Japan, Costa Rica. Japan are all right. Japan are a good team. I know they have your man Ito, who's ter but he was tearing up last year. He's gone to stat Ream, Rams now. I'm not sure what he's like anymore. Pan said Fatty Pedri. Uh, ex excuse, excuse me, I never said Fatty Pedri. I gave you over it. I'm just saying they, pred they produce the same player every year. 
And I don't think since Iniesta and Xavi, I've been impressed by any of them. Yeah. Well, maybe they're a bit different. Bellingham and Muziala are better. I didn't say... I, listen, I didn't say that. You're putting words in my mouth. Um, yeah. I think... I, I can settle on that. Are you in the same camp? I mean, I am in the same camp. We've got the same group E, I think. For me, the thing is with Germany is... Their defence, for me, isn't great. It's not It's not great. It's not, like, outstanding. I think Spain's defence is better, which, in tournaments, <laughs> for as much as it pains me to say this, because England play a back five, um, it does well in tournaments because you just keep clean sheets, and if it goes to penalties, it goes to penalties. Like, mm. just the way it is. Spain have a better defence, which will keep them solid throughout the tournament. Morata's, like, well, he's Morata, isn't he? <laughs> Like their yeah. their front three ain't great anymore, but they have a good enough defense. They have a good enough midfield. Well, they would have if Enrique decided to play Rodri instead of Busquets. But I'm not going to complain if Rodri doesn't play all that much because that's better for us. Um, yeah, I mean Germany have they have good but mid at the same time. Like I just said, Kai Havertz, Eric Garcia. Yeah, um, the man does start, which is. Which is probably the weak point there, to be honest. What? Jordi Alba as well. Oh, the man, the man started. They played one friendly and he started. I tell no, you now, he plays. <laughs> he plays. He plays. He plays. I think I see he plays, man. Um, or Jordi Alba, He's one of the two. Garbage. Uh, listen, listen. I'm, I'm, I'm on the, um, I'm under the, 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 uh, the assumption. That's the word. That he won't be starting every game. That he'll be brought on as a sub or something. And. Uh, to be honest, I don't really care because I don't see any of them winning it anyway. So this is just I me mean, going, who's first, who's second. I don't, I don't really have much more to say. I think Spain's team is better overall. Again, Germany have Kai Havertz. I'm not. They have Kai Havertz. They have no striker. Like, have they not, would they not play someone? Would they not be able to play someone striker instead? Okay, Kai Havertz. You could just. You do what Kai Havertz? You're gonna play Makoko, that 17 year old. He's good, but he's also 17, and this is his first mm. tournament. Like they don't have a number, not that I can name anyway. A number nine, like a proper out and out goal scorer, which again with a with a slightly worse defense than Spain, I will say in my opinion. I don't think it's a recipe for first place, but they'll probably be better off finishing second if. You're right about first place not getting a great side of the draw. Well, do you want to hear who first place get? Who would first place get? Which side of the draw would they be on? They get... Mm. Oh, hang on. What the fuck? What is that? Hang on. My thing's at the messing up. Give me two seconds. Yeah. No, we're in knockout stage. Here. Let me go back here. I don't think I threw Brazil through right, did I? I see no, your question, D1 Millie. I'll answer it while he's fumbling. Am I yeah, surprised on, that Spain didn't take the hay? And no, because he can't save penalties and he can't kick a ball with his feet. Yeah, like, that's fair enough. You've, you've got to realise that he's a good goalkeeper. Am I surprised that they didn't take him? Maybe. Maybe he's a good option to just take. But, I mean, like, he's the most, se he's the most senior player in there. Like, you have to look at his. Yeah, but playing. just look at the style of play Spain play, right? They play with the ball yeah. at the feet. They like a sweeper keeper. De Gea can't kick a ball. We've seen this. He can't kick a ball. Yeah. And well, if you remember, I know he saved a couple of penalties after that, but remember Villarreal penalty shootout? He didn't get near. Like, he had an awful record at saving penalties, which in a tournament that it's, you know, it's one game. If it doesn't, you know, it's not two legs or anything. It goes to penalties. Yeah. You know, he's not a good penalty save. He's not reliable anyway. And do you remember his last tournament, the Portugal free, Spain free, Ronaldo hat trick? Never he forget. was Red. garbage. He was so he was bad. So no, I'm not true. surprised. I'm, I'm, maybe I'm a little surprised they didn't take him, but I'm not surprised because he, he shouldn't be starting anyway. Let's put it that way. Like not for this Spain team, not with the way they play. Um, Surely he's still better than Robert Sanchez and David Rea. But yeah, but they're probably better with the ball at their feet. Look at David Rea, he's... Look at, listen, if you play Fantasy Premier League, you know the two highest-owned goalkeepers should... Well, this I haven't done any research, but it's David Rea and Robert Sanchez. Like, everybody has one of those if they have a, a decent goalkeeper. No one goes for the top expensive ones as a goalkeeper. Yeah. Everybody has Sanchez or Rea because they get loads of points. 
I've got Sanchez. I've 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 been uh, flicking. I actually don't think I do anymore. I've I've got my uh, my had, quote unquote yeah. wild card, whatever they want to call it. I I I went between the two because whenever one of them had like City or Liverpool, I just changed the other one. Yeah. That's right, what I've, I've got do. the uh, I've got the draw. If you want to have a sat here in front of me, so the winner being in our opinion Spain will get the runner up of Group F, and then if they win that, they'll get the winner of the team that comes out of uh, Group G or Group H, you know what I mean? So, like, realistically... Yeah, but which, yeah, which winner of Group G and runner of Group H or what? Yes, yes, they'll get that. They'll get the winner So they'll of probably end up getting... Brazil. Yeah, Brazil. So, so Brazil. yeah. <laughs> to be honest, it, it's lose-lose either way, though, isn't it, really? Because the other yeah. side will have... Uh, the other side will have... Will the other side have Argentina in it? Uh, Argentina will be on that side. I'm pretty sure. I'm oh, pretty, for, yeah. Jesus fucking. Christ. Argentina are on that side. This you do the, not like, want a top group E. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my day! It's like the, the the other side of it is just an easier run, right? So we'll be move on to Group F. Then. Move on to Group get, F actually, after. Everyone, uh, yeah. get your predictions in before yeah. we do that. Get your predictions right, in also. Tan. Also, D1 Millie, when John Costa said Nick Pope, he was on about his fantasy team. He has Nick, Nick Pope, Pope in his fantasy team because uh, Newcastle are pretty good. Nick I, Pope. I was just I was just using the example of like then David Rea and Robert Sanchez just because they play for Brighton and Brentford and De Gea plays <laughs> for Man mean? United. Like they're good goalkeepers. Mm. And they're good goalkeepers. I mean you're sort of Brighton beat us. How many shots do we have against Bri- uh, Brighton beat us? Brentford beat us. How many shots do we have against Brentford? Plenty. Exactly. How <laughs> 40. Yeah. Um, a few predictions. John Costa, Croatia, Belgium. Ooh, Cro- a lot of Croatia top, you know. Three Croatia wrong. tops. Croatia, Belgium, Canada, Morocco. Croatia, Belgium, Morocco, Canada. Croatia, Belgium, Canada, Morocco. Oh, yeah, we uh, didn't play Brentford. We, we didn't play Brentford. I don't know what. I, 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 must have been going back. I can't wait to play Brentford at home this year. I, I must S- have been S- going S- back to S- Lansing. S- said this twice. If Canada go through the last 16, I will sing, oh, Canada, that's no problem to me. It's a great national anthem. Yes, Tyrone, bro. How are you? I think D1 Millie has pretty much hit the nail on the head with it. Bottom will be Canada. I think Al- Alfonso Davis will be a big he, miss. He he getting, is he missing out? I thought he travelled. Yeah, missing out. Oh, did he travel? Yeah, he travelled, I'm pretty sure. Are you? Yeah, I, I don't know how fit I don't know how fit he is, but he's there. Well, he hasn't played much for Bayern, has he? I'm still having him. I'm still putting them bottom because even if he is fit, even if he forces himself to be fit, he won't be half as good as people expect. Well, not that he's expected to be good. He's missing the first game. There you go. That's enough. Um, Who was their yeah, first I, game against? Can you, um, yeah, probably if... top, isn't it? That's how it goes. Who starts top? Yeah, I have I have flash car here. Hang on, just talk for a second. I saw it. Uh, if it's based on like the the top bottom thing, then it yeah, should be Morocco. right. So the first game is Belgium are playing Canada, and Morocco. But is that first Canada. game? Is that first yeah. game? Well, if I mean, I don't think they would have won that anyway, in my opinion. So maybe we we are without Davis. Yeah, I don't think they would have won. Yeah, that I did. That's a that's a fair enough prediction to make. To be so, honest with you. But I'm I'm I might be slightly rethinking the bottom. Um, let me just think of who Morocco have. They have a Kimi, but he hasn't completed Hagen across Zayech. in like two decades. Um, Hakimi hmm. said Aguerd Aguer, the fellow player for West Ham, hasn't really has got he ever played for West Ham? Is yeah. he fit? Bono, 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 Bono. 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 Uh, Hmm. Yeah, you have to look at Belgium's defense. It's fucking dire. That's why I have Croatia over them, to be honest with you. Which is easy enough to say. I have Croatia. The number, top. the number one ranked nation in the world, by the way. Can we just, can we just point yeah. that out again? You know what? Actually, yeah, I have to pause that for a second. And say this, right? Belgium. I know it goes off current form and kind of current kind of whatever that kind of shit is. But Belgium have not won a major international tournament, and they are always number one. It makes no sense to me. No sense to me at all. It just it's so bothersome. And the thing is, Belgium have never been that good at a tournament. They got to the semis uh, four years ago, and I know that because I had them on to win. 
Jesus Christ, I'll never forget the car journey back because I had them in the, I, yeah, I think I had like a score on them to win the tournament. And the car journey back because we had just viewed a house. We were going back in the car, 2 0 Japan still. We weren't even listening. We turned it off, turned back on, it's fucking 2 all. And that's how Chad Lee's just had the end of the back post. What a game. What a game for the neutral. And it was Rowie as well. I, I don't know. I just think that um, I'm, I'm slightly rethinking the whole. But, but I, I'm rethinking it, but it doesn't matter because they're both going out anyway. So it doesn't really matter to me. Um, yeah. I'm leaning towards having Canada above. But again, they're both going out for me, so I don't really care. Belgium, yeah. their defence is very mid. Their attack, I mean, Lukaku's out for, I think, the first two games. I don't know why he's been called up. Like, he just doesn't really play, to be honest. It's, like they have, it's a weird one. They're the number one ranked nation in the world, but they haven't even reached a final, let alone won yeah. anything. They have... Did they did they reach the Nations League final? Maybe they did that. I don't I don't care. I don't count that as a competition. I don't count that as a competition. I don't care how good they are. They've done absolutely fuck all. And then a number yeah. one ranked nation. And they've been the number one ranked nation for years without doing anything, without proving why they are better than everybody else. Like I don't know. And I really don't know. Like they're they're just not great. I don't know how they're still number one when the likes of Argentina and Brazil and I mean, you can even say France because they won the World Cup. Like, yeah. it's just odd. It's it's, it's 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 odd. Um, yeah, it is very. It's a very very fucking strange uh, group in the sense that it really doesn't make too much sense. It's Brazil's. Yeah, yeah. Again, you'll say that, Murray, because you got your fucking rig sweepstake. Jesus Christ, what a lucky bollocks! Now, get your group. Get your your group. Actually, tell us what you think of those predictions for us. I think we kind of agreed with almost everybody but get your group g predictions in as well because that could be a little bit of a that's one where i actually don't know people's rankings brazil um, serbia switzerland cameroon same one from same two yeah, same there Alex. Millie, Alex Hayes. edison um, will win brazil the world cup by putting he's the start. Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland, Cameroon. He'll be in, the, he'll be in our midfield depth edison he'll sit in midfield brazil serbia switzerland cameroon you know I what? am Guardiola saying, how do you think Saudi Arabia will do? Well, if you look at our Group C predictions, we have put them bottom. Um, that is how well we think the tournament's going to go. No qualification. Uh, even even if we're being kind of putting toward this, they're not technically qualified. We still don't think they're going through now. I mean, it's, <coughs> it's kind of cut and dry oh, for yeah. us, really. Yeah, so look, we're going to Group G. This is your your daily, your daily, your, your kind of minute by minute reminder to keep liking and subscribing. <laughs> we have hit forty four hundred. That was the goal. But now it's you know what we're putting it down now. Five k for the stream, six hundred more subscribers for this stream alone. We want to now, right? It's half eleven. We're gonna probably gonna keep. We're still in the group stage. We're probably gonna just drag this out, be here for as long as possible. This you is why I didn't want to go through the entire tournament. I don't want to be here all night going through the each and every stage. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll fly through it. Don't worry. Run up the likes. Share it. Keep commenting. My comment, the more the, the algorithm favors us. So do us that favor and keep getting involved because we love the interaction. The interaction is fantastic. Group G, Joseph. We're kind, you know what? I'm in the agreement with pretty much everyone here. You have to put, realistically, camera on our sitting bomb. In my bloody opinion you can say you can say unfortunately you can say fortunately this group is tough man this group is tough um do you think for yeah for sort of for a team like cameroon yeah where oh like, right sorry they're they're not not the, for us no because no, they're obviously brazil exists i think we just moved them top and yeah move that's on. fine <laughs> move them top and just carry on with cameroon bit of like between the other two teams, Serbia and Switzerland, like they've they've been done dirty. <laughs> they've been done dirty yeah. by their group. I know it's yeah. There's only thirty two teams in here, and there's only you know it's not a lot of nations, but they have um, they don't have the worst squad in the world. To be honest, I just think yeah. that they're they're a bit unfortunate with the group that they've copped. Um, although if you ask who was it was it was it Samuel Eto who made his predictions. Samuel Eto predicted Cameroon and Morocco to get to the final purely because they could handle the heat better. Which I can see a point, but there's absolutely no chance in. He, I, 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 I get it. He's, he's an African man. He backed his African brothers in the tournament. Brethren. His brethren, but 
I, he was he was clearly slight bias, just just slightly slight just bias. Just a tad, just a little bit just, bias. Um, just a tad. I think personally, now I don't know if you're if you're agree with me. I have to put my man Manuel Akanji in third place. It's it's a sad day for the parish, for my Switzerland brethren everywhere, for my somewhat Jamaican brethren everywhere because if that man has the tickets to make an accident of all time despite being Swiss but my man he has to sit in Switzerland plate, unfortunately are just absolutely mid <laughs> like like Shaq has had a great season I give him that granted Shaq has had a really really good season Shakiri plays MLS Marmela Kanji is one of the best centre backs do they all still time. play Rodriguez at left back who's about 40 years Fuck old fuck off now. does he still play Jan Sommer still... who's also dead old but at least he plays in the Bundesliga and has Champions does, League does Kerbal does Kerbal not start Kerbal uh, if he does then they're fucked because he's shite he's, shit. <laughs> he's pretty fucking oh, shit like who's their f- oh, do they have um, is he a man who plays for Celtic up front a jetty. Sefero, Sef, Sefero. Has Bankovic? No, he's fucking Moroccan. No, a, a jetty, oh, no, is in... it? And... They have him for Celtic. Who? A jetty from Celtic. Swiss. Oh. Swear down. Swear down, that's what I'm thinking of. They do have You're that. You're probably Sefero right. Murray, Murray is the man for this. Hang on a moment. I'll check. Check out that shit. I'm not certain that that's the guy. He might, it might not be his exact name, but I think it is. They have a Swiss keeper, and obviously he's not. I was only checking today as if he was going to be in the fucking squad. Hang on. Lineups. Like, they have Zakari, uh, who hasn't played for Chelsea in ages. Yeah, he's like two, they, they have two games. It's a Jetty, man. A you. Jetty left Celtic, yeah. I knew he fucking wasn't mm. there. No, that was the last place. They have a Babu who plays for Fulham. I assume he made it because. Again, it's Switzerland, I yeah. he made it. Fabian Shah has been playing well for Newcastle. I'd say that he made He's it as well. Really but like good. you said, Shakiri is he what captain or is Jack captain? Anyway, Shakiri is one of the senior Surely players. Shakiri still captain. So, any, regardless, he's one of the senior players who plays in the MLS. <laughs> like, it's it's not good. Whereas if you look at Serbia. Serbia, Serbia. I was thinking of which S nation it was. If you look at Serbia, then. Uh, They've got a lot of good players. Milinkovic, Savic, Vlavic, Kostic. Like, they've got good players, man. Um, yeah. It's not, like, the most stacked. It's not the most overall well-balanced. But in the areas where they do have good players, they are good players. Like, very yeah, good players. Um, so I, I, I just think... Um, no, for Switzerland, unfortunately. I say unfortunately, it means Manuel Akanji returns to us sooner, which I will take happily. Him playing three games and then coming home, going on holiday for a week or two, and that'd be that. I'm happy out with that. I think that... Was that the order that most people had it in? Brazil, Serbia, it Switzerland, was. Cameroon? Yeah, most people had it that way around, which is actually weird because it's probably one of the harder groups to predict, but everyone seems to be in agreement yeah. that everyone's kind of... Got it in there, Since so everybody is in agreement, I think we can all you know you unilaterally say we will be wrong because there's yeah. no chance anyone is ever in full agreement. Switzerland have a dangerous striker through and Bolo. And Bolo was read of him about four years ago, man. I haven't seen him kick a ball since that. I know he moved somewhere and just You're also hasn't. naming Nottingham Forest players. <laughs> Mike. I'm sorry. Yeah, That's but in fact, that Fruler, Fruler was all right in play for Atlanta, wasn't he? No, and from me from Switzerland. Yeah, not for me from Switzerland, unfortunately. They're, they're more balanced than Serbia, but they don't have the firepower. They're, their best player is fucking a kanji like. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's not take the piss. He's a defender. He's not going to win you a game, is he? Rob. Listen. I'm a kanji top scorer at the World Cup 2022. Get your, get your girlfriend. Listen, get the I house can't, on. Listen, get your house on it. At the same time, also Put get the- your house on Neymar turning him inside out. <laughs> Yeah, you get, I tell you what, <coughs> I'll say it though. Group H, get your predictions in now and react to our predictions. You don't have to react to our predictions, because they're actually the same as yours, funny enough. Get your Group H predictions in now. Is Darwin Nunes, saviour of the Reds, going to get them top? The one with the Portugal, Uruguay, South Korea, and Ghana. Trusting. I think people are sleeping on Ghana, but I still don't think they're going to get out of, out of group. Interesting. We'll wait for a couple more before we... Get yeah. underway with ours. We'll see what people are saying so we can have something that's at least comparable. Mm-hmm. 
Um, I actually might have a bit of a hot take, but I'm gonna give you my uh, my sleeper double for the tournament once I get into this. Once Portugal, we get into this. South Korea, Uruguay, and Ghana. No Uruguay from Ooh, Dash. There should. Ooh, Portugal, know, Uruguay, man. Ghana, Korea. Uruguay scraped first place ahead of Portugal, then Korea and Ghana. So Alex, Alex says that was my sleeper double. Actually, I sent it to him earlier. Some um, should be fit. Also, Huang Hee Chan. Yeah, South Korea don't have a bad team. Huang Hee Chan is absolutely fucking shy, man. That's not. That's not right, okay, yours, that's okay. Not... Name me a Ghana player that isn't Thomas Party. <laughs> that isn't Thomas Party. <laughs> and Aki Williams. Oh, come on, that's cheating, man. Come on. <laughs> that's cheating. You're both of the IU brothers. <laughs> Listen, Kim Min Jae, one of the best defenders in Serie A this season. He's there. It's not a bad team for South Korea. Um, again, but we'll get on to our prediction. South Korea hey, top here from Daniel. Kerwin. Here comes Daniel with his Fernando oh Santos. My, oh my good God. Oh, right, Kerwin. Yeah, now South it's time Korea, to go Korea, Uruguay, <laughs> Ghana, Portugal. Oh my. You know what? You know what? If it happens, fair play, Kyron, mate. But <laughs> respect, hair, look, respect my hair. For some reason, Uruguay don't perform well in the international side. My brother, they got to the semi final. Uh, so Korea have a way of making shocks. Yeah, they can make a shock all they want. They might get a result, but I am going with. I think it's our time now. So Korea finishing bottom of the group. You're taking wow. humans on. Someone, Absolutely someone who is, incredible. Someone who has just like nearly been knocked out on the pitch and he's going in with a squad that just isn't bi built it's not built different it's not built different like some of their squads South Korea bottom of the group you know what my sleeper double for the uh, who's top for the World Cup is who's top um, Uruguay finished up at least we agree on something <laughs> yeah Uruguay finished up. Sleeper double is Denmark to top the group and South Korea to finish fourth. It's a good word. It's about five to one. It's fantastic. You cannot rely on the IU, but it's not enough. <laughs> Nobody's relying on the IU, but it's man. Not even the mother. Like, come on. That is just outrageous. Uh, right. Group H. I think we can. So I presume you're having South Korea toward Ghana fourth. I am, yeah. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, that's fair enough. I have Portugal second as well. There's no real debate around that. Do you know what? I think Nunes will score a couple. I think they might they'll awkwardly go in, but he will score a couple. I think he'll fight he'll fight in the top of that group. Him, Suarez, Cavani's there. I don't know if he'll start. He might do. Depends on how they play. Probably. And Ben Tancor, <laughs> that man's been a man possessed. They have Fede Valverde. Arau no Araujo's out, isn't he? Araujo's no, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, he's gone, has he? Yeah. There you I go. don't know he's how fit player. he is, but Jimenez. he's gum. Jimenez. Jimenez. He's there. Like they have a good team. They're finishing top. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to tell you. Man. I'm afraid to tell you. All right. All right, Murray. Don't be talking about the noodles. No need to bring that into it, mate. Uh, Darwin noodles. Right. Those. Darwin. Those. Central uh, C. Though, Central C. SI. Central don't forget. Um, right. Anybody in here? Obviously. First order of business. <laughs> like the stream. Three shots on target. <laughs> like the stream. Like Come it. on, you know, if you haven't, do it. Come on, you Those know. are our predictions for the group stage. We're not going to go each knockout game individually because we don't want to I, yeah, I have them in front of me. We'll just go. No, 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 no. It's no. going to take hold us five on. minutes. Hold, hold the phone. Hold the phone. The... <sighs> Fuck off, would you? Come on. Um, Those are our complete group stage predictions. Um, I don't think they're... They're not too controversial from my side, at least, anyway. Um, <laughs> I'd say my... Listen, my hottest takes are probably Denmark topping and Croatia topping. And... Is Uruguay top a hot take? No, because Ronaldo's going to start, so no, of course it's not. <laughs> Would you give over? Right, before we go into um, the, the knockout stage, do you wanna, how do you want to do this? Do you want to say you're winner and then... See how it pans out, or do you want to see how it pans out and then say you're winner? We'll, we'll see how it pans out, because it's literally going to take us two minutes. All right? I'm looking at the fourth round, they're all kind of pretty much cut and dry. Right, okay, we'll do... Right, do one side of the bracket first, and then do the other yeah. side. To no, the no, this is just all linear, so it's literally game by game and all, all right? So I'm just going to read them out as we go. First one up is Netherlands and Iran. I think we kind of can say who's going to Hey, well, listen, for me, it's Netherlands-America. Yeah. Right. 
it's Netherlands either way. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, that's what it's, we it's Netherlands either way. <laughs> right, the next game we both have it's Argentina and France. Argentina. I have Argentina. I have Argentina. Next is Spain and Belgium. I think we have that ranked the same, do we? We do have that ranked the same. Tell you who I have. Who's here? I've got Spain going through. I've also got Spain going through. Nice. Number one Next ranked go- nation in the world. Going out around the 16. Next game. No, Alexa, you don't talk, love. Uh, next game is the Battle of the Portuguese Speakers in Pag- Pagil, Brazil and Portugal. <laughs> this is exactly why Portugal are not going anywhere in this World Cup. Absolutely it's Brazil. not doing anything. It's Brazil. Brazil are going through. It's Brazil are going through. Brazil are going through. Next up is England and Senegal. Mm, I bet I want a potential it's, stumbling block. But it's not England. Like if it was Mane, I'd give it a shout. It's England. Yeah, no, I'm afraid not. I hope it is. Ooh, I just realised we have an interesting one cooking here because after the England game, it's Denmark and Mexico. Denmark. We have Denmark, but that is a blood and thunder rematch of the Euro 2020 semi final. That's kind of fucking crazy. Euro. Um, Mad. It was the Euro, wasn't it? Mad. That's actually crazy. Right. Next Gee. up is Croatia and Germany. And you know what? I actually don't know. I think I know. I think I'm leaning in Croatia, you know. Germany. I'm just, tell you what, give me a sec. Musiala, Sane. Musiala, Sane, Nabri, Kimmich. Oh, Nabri. No, yeah. But they don't have a striker. They don't have a proper striker, man. Germany or Name Croatia. me one that fucking Croatia have. Modric. Kramer. <laughs> oh, striker. Arsic. <laughs> well, that's G- Germany for me. You know what? I got a bite of one and say Germany, right? Now, this is an interesting... <laughs> Daniel's is... saying you hate Germany. <laughs> <laughs> give over give over also uh, Hugh Murray Werner's injured didn't he do something with his Achilles or something yeah like, he's fucked he's week. out he's oh, out like he's, he's not going to the World Cup he's also a bit shit but we move on yeah, Daniel's saying the heritage we have you don't even support them at uh, international tournaments <laughs> alright 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 move <laughs> right next yeah. game is uh, Uruguay and Serbia I think we all have Uruguay going to Uruguay now we'll go up to the top. Netherlands and Argentina. Argentina, unfortunately Argentina. for the Netherlands. Spain and Brazil. Brazil. <laughs> Brazil. England and Denmark. England. Put your fucking queen hand to the side. I'm saying, I'm saying Denmark, but I'm going to let the, co- the comments decide. I'm going to say, right. Put your hate to we- one side. Who won fucking a year and a half ago? <laughs> Who won a year and a half ago? Yeah? Yeah? That's yeah. yeah. so what I thought. Right. Go on, we'll go England. Just just to satisfy your need, you little Peter. I'm not winning that anyway. <laughs> Germany and Uruguay. Uruguay. I think Uruguay. Right. Now. Argentina or Brazil? Do we go with the head of the heart? I'll let you go I'll first. You I'm, going for. I'm going for the heart. It's fucking Argentina in the World Cup final. Brazil. I'm going Brazil. Oh. Oh. Argentina. Argentina. Now it's England and Uruguay. You know what I'm going to say? Uruguay are going to go through to the final because England probably should beat them. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I think they'll just have a lot on the counter attack. I think they're going to just get torn open. But no, I, I no, no. My, my reasoning is simple. Every time there's a team that we should beat, yeah. We, we we don't we don't like even though I said even though we should beat Denmark and you could say the same reasoning for that like we should beat Uruguay as well but we won't I think Uruguay Listen, regardless of what happens here the the winner of this is losing the final if they play Argentina or if they play Brazil they're losing the final well I think it's Uruguay <laughs> I, I, think think, it's... I, what, I will put Uruguay through because you know what I can't stick England getting to another final that will make me puke like uncontrollably Right. Listen, dread it, the winner, from it. Presume, the winner now you can get it up for yourself is I am going with Argentina as my winner. And my I presume winner you're going. has always been Brazil from the start. 
Yeah, so the, I see I'm going with the I'm going with the heart, unfortunately. I think I have to. Now, what other categories have we got in front of us? Let me go back on the air stream, right? Will we go Argentina? England are protect. That's fair enough, man. England to beat Uruguay, Uruguay, Uruguay. Goatmar will win the Cup and Mundial, right? We go Golden Boo straight away. Let me just make the World Cup trophies pop out. Anyway, anyway those man. are uh, final predictions. I mean, we there's nothing on screen, but we rattled through it and came to the conclusion that you went with your heart, I went with my head. Yeah. And that he thinks that Argentina are going to win. I think Brazil are going to go for number six. Uh, Fuck off, John, you hipster. Sorry. Go on the ball, Freddy Valverde, if you're a guy. Shush. Shush. Stop, Stop it, brother. Shush. Brother, you're yourself. Uh, right, Golden Boot. I say we let people get in because I see Dewey Millie saying Ronaldo and Daniel saying Alvarez. Um... <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> I think he'll get so, top score. Golden, Golden Boot. What are you saying? Golden Boot. Hang on. My parents are from Ross Common. Nice. Nice. I love it. Ross Uncommon. What a spot. Golden Boot. You know what? I didn't think I had Uruguay getting as far as I did. Do you know what that means? Oh no. This is gonna pain me to say, you know. Golden Boo. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh god. I'm only messing with Neymar. <laughs> Neymar's getting golden boo. Had everyone on strings there. <laughs> everyone thought I was going with with Darwin Nunes. But you know what? Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me. I have Neymar. Neymar, what a player! And pure thing is, I would have given him golden ball had I had Argent, had I had Brazil winning it. But I have Neymar golden boot. Neymar golden boot. I think that's fairly Neymar. 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 Um, I suppose that yeah. Even though you said Argentina, you still think Neymar. Yeah. I just. <laughs> To be honest, he's just I don't not really like this year. This year he's been different gravy. Like, like Messi's not gonna get golden boot because I don't think he'll be like scoring loads. Um, yeah. Ronaldo's not gonna get it because one he's shit and two he's not gonna go very far. Yeah. Um, I can, You know what? Even though I don't even know, I I I've said they're gonna get to the semi final. Just probably, I didn't even like if I was to name your prediction at the start, I'd say like quarter final max. But just reading through the the. Like the group prediction and then the bracket, getting him to the yeah. semi final. Harry Kane just has to be up there because he'll take penalties. And I can guarantee you, England, they're getting yeah. penalties. So, yeah. You going with Carney? No, I'm going with Neymar. Neymar is still no, my pick bad. because Neymar's my pick because I've gone for Brazil to go all the way. That's my reasoning. I think Kane is probably my second. I don't know why people are going Mbappe. France are going to flop. Yeah, and Mbappe, and Mbappe might get a few, but he's playing beside Olivier Giroud, who is notorious for last World Cup not having a shot on target. He's also two goals, like two goals away from being France's highest scorer ever, overtaking Henri Giroud. Giroud. Is. Yeah, so That's he'll bad. be chasing that one a little bit, bit, bit greedy maybe. Do you know what? If Mane was playing, if Mane was playing against, for Senegal, I'd actually have him up there because he would score five against Qatar. Right. <laughs> Golden ball. Best player in the tournament. Alex Hayes hit the nail on the head. Lionel Messi will hold that golden ball along with his, his World Cup trophy right there. I don't know if this is Jules Rame because that was the first World Cup. They named the first World Cup trophy. So I'm going with Messi. He's going to have the the golden ball in one hand, the World Cup trophy in the other hand. That's going to be him. That's going to solidify it as if it's not already solidified. That will be it. That will be game over. Lionel Messi is a player of the tournament. And your World Cup winner. Well, it's Neymar for me because Brazil are going to win it. Going to win the gold and boot. Right. And See, that's I, under, give I, understand, the best. I understand that, but I don't know if they'll give. I don't know. I don't know the history of But will they give Messi? Will they give Neymar both of the things? Like, if he gets a golden boot, will he be given player of the tournament? Because Brazil would have won the tournament. I mean, I well, they give it Freddy Valverde because playing Uruguay in the final, it's like, oh, Uruguay, dark horse run. Yeah. No. Go, 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 Latin ball, Infantino, that Infantino. Oh my God, how say not? Golden Glove. Mm. Is Golden Glove now? Is that most clean sheets most or is it the sheets. best? It's Golden Glove it's the is the most, most clean, clean sheets. sheets, or it should. That's what it is for, like everything else. 
Do you know what? Do you know what? Unless it is best goalkeeper of the tournament. I don't know. I know for everything else, it's not. If it's clean and sheets, right? I'm going. Who said? You know, if it's clean sheets, I'm going to pick for Best goalkeeper of the tournament. If it's it's be, it's just better, so it's not clean I've sheets. I've Googled it. Wikipedia says at the end of each FIFA World Cup to- final tournament, several awards are presented to the players. Um, and it says the golden ball is for the best player, golden boot is for the highest scorer, um, golden glove is for the best goalkeeper. It doesn't say clean sheets, it just says the best goalkeeper. There's also right. a young player and fair play trophy in the man of the match. I the, the fair play trophy. No. I also didn't go for the young player of the year either because no, no one cares young player to World Cup. It'll be someone because not many be young players go. Not many pedi- young players go. So, like, there's not much to choose from. I'm going Golden Glove now that we know it's the best keeper. I'm going Alisson. I'm going Alisson. Even if Brazil don't win it, like, he's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> because I haven't getting toured. And just for, a, a, just for a, a fun fact. We didn't actually predict that one, did we? What? Obviously, mine would be England, Argentina, uh, yours yeah, would be England, Brazil. Who gets third in that one? Any fucking... Brazil. Brazil. Whoever, in my mind, Brazil get it, and that's where Alisson gets his trophy. Yeah, whoever doesn't win that semi-final of Argentina, Brazil gets third. Yeah. That's, that, yeah. Just put them in there. Anyway, um, do you want to leave Dark Horse, or do you want to go that next? Well, Dark Horse, considering the fact we both have them to get to the final, we have to say Uruguay, just on pure default, surely. Yeah, I don't think many people predict Uruguay to get that far, but we have. They're very yeah. good. They're very balanced. Yeah, I, I, you know what? Actually, what price are they? What, what, like what? Do no, 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 no gambling about? allowed. Move I'm not going to. I just, I no, I, I'm not putting one on. I just genuinely want to say. Um, Uruguay hit a forty to one. That's fucking unbelievable. Biggest uh, flop of the tournament this can either be team this can be player manager if you will yeah, I think manager's a bit rude now who's your biggest flop listen flop of the tournament will be France right that's the team but am I going for a player out of them? you get one or you no. one or the other you get one flop of the tournament player or I'm team just France. I'm just gonna go so France, France. Uh, did we have France going out in the first knockout round? We did, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, first knockout round, Argentina. Yeah. Um, be a big I still think about it, it'd be all right. It's just, I just don't fancy France. Biggest flop. Uh, Belgium has to be up there, too. Belgium has to be up there. Say De Bruyne at your own peril, yo. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's normally carrying a Belgium yeah, team. Yeah, he is. In France, he was unreal in that Euros. Um, biggest flop. I want to say, I, you know what, I want to say Ronaldo, but I don't think anyone expects him to do well. Yeah. That's the thing. I, I, if he does I, anything, I, honest, if right, he does anything yeah. it'll be a plus for him. I think D1 really said top scorer. Like, if that's the levels that people are holding him at, then he will be a flop. Um, biggest flop. Oh, what? It's difficult. I don't want to say France. Um, Belgium in the first knockout round out as well. Belgium have to be up there, like, you know. Belgium have to be up there. Difficult, you know, because I don't know who expects what from what people. I, I, I'm, going uh, off. And uh, going off, like, everything, yeah, but most people are thinking France going to do shit, so I don't really want to say yeah. they're the biggest flop. I don't think many people are, well, I suppose some people are expecting Belgium to go on one last time. I don't think they are. I think everyone's yeah. past Belgium now because they've seen they've wasted the golden generation. Hazard's not in form. Sorry, I did both. <clears throat> Hazard's not in form. Your yeah, man, Doku hasn't scored since the Euros, I don't think. Like, they've not got a good team, realistically, and the defence is absolutely hot steam and garbage. Hmm. You could go Portugal, I suppose. <laughs> Who are Portugal playing? Brazil in the first night? I mean, everyone's just expecting to do shit, really, don't they? Um, yeah. I'm going to go Belgium, because even though, right. even though not many people, including ourselves, don't expect them to do fucking anything, they expect them to get knocked out in the round of 16. They are, and I repeat for the third time, the number one ranked nation in the world. 
and we don't <laughs> think they're going to get past the round of 16. That's, that's, that's the levels we're dealing with. I think similar thing with France to the holders, and we don't think they're going to get past the round of 16. Like, yeah. say what you want about a curse to the holders. They should be doing better than that. Um, I think that's fairly... I was about to say accurate. You're not going to get anything close to accurate when you do a prediction. There'll be something stupid that happens. We're not accounting for injuries, suspensions later in down the tournament. We're not accounting for these groups even being right. Like we did, we went through the knockout stage. These groups probably aren't even right. <laughs> like, yeah, Martin it's very Martin. hard. But I'd say when it comes to the bigger ones, like who's going to win it? I think it is. You can't look past Brazil or Argentina. They are the two mm-hmm. favorites. I think when. When you look at the other side of the bracket that had England on it and Denmark, unless France topped that group, there's no one on that side. There's no one on that side. Like, unless France topped the group, and maybe you could say Portugal as well, there's no one on that side. Like, it's England. Like, it's not great. So, I think it just comes down to the Brazil Argentina matchup. Should they even meet, of course? Um, if they meet, then, like, yeah. Again, that'll be that'll be game of the tournament. If we're going for a game of the tournament, that has to be there, to be honest with you. And if they meet, should they both top the group, which we're expecting them to, and they should do, if they meet, it would be in the semi-final. Like, that is a cracker. That's a banger. That's a banger of a game. Um, I have to agree, man. Like, that's what you got to look out for. Is, every, team, every team has a variable here where I'm looking at. Like, France's uh, midfield is, should be a big concern for them. Argentina... Like again, you have to kind of look at the defense. They still play Nico Amendi, I'm pretty sure. Uh, do they? Looking at Holland, not much going forward. Do they? They don't Hot. play Otamendi still, do they? The back two of Martinez and Otamendi, that's just two footy tackle. Surely two not. Footy tackle. Surely not. But I, I'm not guessing. Belgium shocking, have... de- shocking defense. Like, realistically, I think Brazil could be let down a little bit in their depth in midfield. Like, Again, Fred's Christian Romero, exactly. did he go? Oh yeah, yeah, he definitely went. Had to if go. he went, then he'll be starting. You know, that's you know what for. I think the thing that's let Argentina down in past tournaments is their defense. Like they've had no fullbacks yeah. this year. Romero and Martin, even though Martinez is five nine, I like to laugh at him a lot. Like that's a good centre half. Pa- that's a very good centre half partnership. They have good enough fullbacks. Um, Who's their fullbacks now? Your man uh, Tagliafico is. There, uh, right, Molina play? Right, I don't know who that is to be honest. Right back, Nahuel Molina. He plays for Atletico Madrid. If anyone can help me here, that would be highly appreciated. I'm looking at full. I'm I'm just thinking of fullbacks. I know Tagliafico is still knocking. He's a left back. I know. I know he's still knocking about. This is what I mean. We're going on fullbacks here. Like their defense has always been their weak point. Mm-hmm. Um, I think their centre halves. In terms of the two that will be starting. All things go to plan then, yeah, but um, obviously Nicolas Otamendi and Juan Foyt. Acuna. 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 Mm. Mm. Yes. I like that. He's um, a good he's a good player. I I'm 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 looking at footman for this, by the way. Um Did they play a tree back? Fuck me. No, 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 no. Who said that? Dano. Oh no, sorry, it's D1 Midi. No. I always get mixed up with D1 Midi and Dano. Well, at least I don't I I don't think so. Um, I'm looking you know at right what? I'm backs. pulling up their friendly match. I'm pulling up their friendly match, right? Just I'm looking just, at right uh, backs. One five being able to play right back. Uh, he is garbage. You are right, right. with the Molina Argentina show. in the last game did play one fight as a right back. With Ottoman and Martinez, Paredes de Paul. Alexis is Alexis was McAllister going to the World Cup? That's class. Like I'll go to the last big game, right? They played a four with Molina did start, but they haven't done centre back here for some reason. Messi, Martinez, Di Maria. Does Alvarez start? No, I don't think so. I think he got the number. He was pictured with the number nine anyway, but mm, he doesn't. It doesn't start. Or he hasn't been starting. Who knows? Who knows? Um, I suppose it all depends whether they want to play top front. Really, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. If they want to go like four, four, two, or narrow, I suppose put Messi in a ten. Um, I don't know man listen regardless of right backs of being able to name a good one it still makes a change from as much it still makes a change from as much as I love him Pablo Zabaleta Nicolas Otamendi Mascherano at 35 years old whoever the fuck else at left back like it's a change and they've also got a goalkeeper now Martinez 
Yeah, that's true. Sergio Romero, as good of a backup keeper as he is, he's not a World Cup winning goalkeeper, is he? Oh, when they got to the final and they lost with, with that defence. So, they've got an improved defence. They've still got similar... Gabriel fucking Heinze. Gabriel <laughs> Heinze tried walking out in United for Liverpool. So, fair play. <laughs> Listen, is Happy there... with that. Happy with that prediction, you know. I'm happy, uh, there's yeah. a few. There's a few, obviously. Most of our groups are the same. Five of our groups are the exact same. Obviously, Group D mm-hmm. and Group H are pretty much the same. They are just yeah. um, two the, bo- the bottom two teams, just the other way around. It doesn't matter. They're both yeah. not going through. Group B, t- typically the one with England in it, is the most. But we the only end have end one team in the same top. We both have England top, which is fairly self-explanatory. Um, your your wild shout of a run still has me going. I I still. Like, I could easily swap Iran and Wales in mind, but I think America will go for it, man. They call it, I know they call it soccer, but they are actually quite good. They're a good team. I'm not trying to say they're not, but I just think Iran are just a... Anyway, weird, regardless. Uh, regardless. They play Netherlands in the next round, and they get spanked. Yeah, yeah they're, both, they're both getting fucked out. Um, need a VAR check on the golden boot. Right. Now, listen, do you want Millie right? I hate to I break it to you, you, but you've been saying Ronaldo, right? The man is finished. Let it go, Brev. Brev. Nice. He's from Portugal. Sure. He's not getting past the first knockout round. He's going to score, like, two penalties against... One against South Korea and one against Ghana. That's it. That's his goal tally. <laughs> like... I think he get, get two as well. I think he'll end up with two goals. <laughs> He's finished. Dark Horses of the Netherlands. Well, not for me. Did they count? Did they count as a Dark Horse? I, you know what? Again, this is another thing. Before I went through the bracket, they were my dark horses, but then I ended up getting Uruguay to the final. I'm like, well, I kind of have to change my mind. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah no. Uh, Netherlands are close for me. I, I, I do like the... Oh, it's been a while since they went to... Uh, they had that span of not going to tournaments. They did make the Euros, yeah. as you told me. I forgot they did because they went out stupidly early on. Yeah. They've been doing well under Van Gaal, but I mean, if you say Uruguay are going to get to the World Cup final, they are your dark horse. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's fairly self explanatory. Um, Ronaldo is still the greatest of all time. Uh, greatest at what exactly? Going talk to Piers yeah, Morgan? Rico, Rico, Rico Lewis has just turned 18. <laughs> Ronaldo is the greatest at talking to Piers Morgan because no one else wants to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> and no one else wants to talk to Ronaldo either. Yeah. Like, People just need to say, let it go. You know, sometimes the best thing for it is to let it go. He's going to get sacked by United, which I find funny. And yeah. he's going to end up, up... Chelsea want him, and I don't know why they want him. It's probably the, the, the owner to bowl. He's like, Ronaldo! Yeah, we're, 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 we're diverting there to club football, but... It's, it's relevant because, I mean, he's been shouting at us for... Of course it's relevant. He's been fucking washed for about six yeah, well, he's been No, it's just D1 Millie's shouting at us to put Ronaldo golden boots. Like, no, mate, just calm down. Just calm down slightly. You know what I mean? The, the real goat will take his place. You know what I mean? The real yeah, goat. Yeah. I've just seen a fucking gas tweet, right? So someone put up a photo of all the Brighton players going to the World Cup, just tight a little old Brighton. A Palace fan replies, that's what happened to you, so I ran the players from shy countries. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Trossard and Sanchez are both there. Like... Yeah, John Costa hit the nail on the head there. Ronaldo X cries per 90, highest in the tournament. Yeah, so that's fair. They would be better off taking him out, not playing him, and playing other players. You've seen the attackers that they have. It'd be better off without him. He's just a he's a training cone. Yeah, that's a like, that Ronaldo knows he ain't got nothing to prove now. Uh. Unbelievable. Yeah, man. I hope it. Yeah, right, sure I that, hope that, that's why. He, that's I why hope, he has the coin. Go on. I hope for the sake of all that's holy that is this is all sarcasm and you have in his on. I don't know, man. There's a lot. Of, I never took money for someone who took got Ronaldo to go. To be honest, with you. it doesn't anymore. <laughs> Does he not? I don't think so. No, he was. He was when he was li- when we were when we were gonna sign him. He was like the oh, goat, yeah, the yeah, goat, yeah. the goat. He was being proper shameless about it. And as soon as he didn't, said like, now Messi clear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as soon as you went back to United, oh, Messi clear. I tell you what, that's 
That is mad. That about sums it up. There's a big shout yeah. for Messi to win it, and there's a big shout for Ronaldo to not even get out of the group stages. <laughs> that, that's 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 the reality that we're in, where some people's go finished, washed. It's fine. Except you move on. We're we're here for you if you want to talk about it. Therapy session. You know what I mean? If, it's, yeah, if you can't okay. accept it, we're here. <laughs> Listen. Tell you what, it's kind of, it's nine minutes past twelve. Is there anything else we can kind of go to before we wrap it up? Because I feel like we've pretty much gotten everything. Unless there's any other any of the other awards like Young Player of the Tournament that anybody really will we, cares will we about. Get, have a guess at Young Player. Will Goal of the tournament is going to score a cracker. I don't care. I tell you, what, I'll, I'll I'll have a, a shot at Goal of the Tournament, right? I think. I want the exact I'm... second. Ah, <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, right? <laughs> Uh, I think all of the tournament. I just think Luka Modric will turn up with a fucking scorcher. And I was, no, I tell you he'll get all the tournament. I'll tell you he'll get all the tournament because he always scores crackers, but you don't know how he does it. Darwin Nunes will get all the tournament. I'm fucking telling you. <sighs> Do you know how he's gonna he'll, 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 like, he'll hit a ridiculous bicycle kick from the halfway yeah. or something crazy. Do you know what like, he's gonna I do? Know he's gonna end up playing on the wing for Uruguay because Cavani and Suarez are there. He's gonna try and cross it and it's gonna end up in the top corner. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. And thing is, he cross from the from the touch line at the halfway line, <laughs> and he'll just go. And I'm telling you now, he'll get. He'll to, go he'll over get, the keeper. <laughs> yeah, he'd probably be like five foot three, and he'll get it. It'd be brilliant. But I think I think Nunes. I'll, it's between Nunes and Madrid. I think both of them will score crackers. You will really say Neves got all the tournament. Not bad shout. He loves Ooh, a cracker. That's a good he shout. But he doesn't like free kicks. Doesn't like free kicks. Yeah, because Ronaldo likes to fuck them into the wall. <laughs> and stewards. And stewards, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Nevis is a shout I, I, because he loves a ping, but... I don't know. De Bruyne maybe. has to get a good one as well. Goal of the tournament, maybe not. He will get a good one. Rodri Rodri's doesn't play, unfortunately. Um, ooh. I think Nevis is a really good shout, you know. Mm, messy free kick, possibly. Yeah, but it won't get called the tournament. There'll just be one that pips it. The thing is, it could be some random fella like Rook Fez could go and score one. Like, <laughs> Christine Eriksen. Yeah. It'd be a nice swan. It'd be a nice like swan song, wouldn't it? Him coming yeah. back after him coming back to a tournament. Tiedemann's, scream. Tiedemann's a really good show. Stallings. <laughs> <laughs> Tiedemann's did hit the back to back. I think it was back to back anyway for Leicester. It wasn't guy, no, it wouldn't have been back to back because City Edison stopped it from being back to back to back. <laughs> yeah, because he almost had three in a row. <laughs> yeah. He's ridiculous. He's ridiculous at shooting from outside the box. He's Not a good shot at him. It'll be like some some like I don't know, some Iranian will score a cracker against Wales or something and he'll get called to the tournament. It's like well, how are we supposed how are we supposed to get that one? Jordan Oyer runs through the whole Portugal team and buries it to make it 4 1 to Portugal. <laughs> Edison scores from his penalty pads, even though he tried true ball now. Oh, that's a good show. That's a really good show, Valverde. Do you know that? It's not a bad show. Maybe a goal of the tournament. I think he's, if Uruguay reached the final, he's in a conversation for Golden Ball. Yeah, 100%. But. Are they gonna? Mm. Well, we we've See, predicted they have so far. far we had to... them getting. That's the thing. Um, Mitoma wonder goal to knock Spain out of group stages. Like Jenny, Mitoma you does, could does name me. Score. <laughs> yeah, but you could name me any player in this tournament, any forward player, and I could go. They're probably in with a shout of scoring a cracker out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, it could be anyone. There's no point trying to predict that one. I think we just kind of we've imagined our Darwin Nunes scenarios. I think that's enough. Yeah. He's saying now the best young player I think Muziala will get. No, it'll be Pedri because he's Spanish. He plays for Barcelona. No, I, th- I, I oh, think Gavin. Muziala. Harry I think Maguire. whoever plays better when they play each other will get. Harry Maguire. <laughs> Harry Maguire, young player of the tournament. <laughs> I know. D1 Millie saying Harry Maguire, wonder God. Gonna... Did you see him in training, weaving in and out of players? Hey, this is mad, right? Think about it like this, right? Everyone slags out Maguire. Maguire is a better attacking player than you, right? Than anyone in this chat, right? Just like Darwin Nunes is a better defender than anyone in this chat. Just like Brad Friedel is better at passing than anyone here. A kanji, anyone here. A kanji a screamer, kanji. even though he gets knocked out. A kanji screamer. 
bullet. Do you remember his um, attempted screamer against the game that we never played? Yeah, I do remember that. We didn't play a game, though. We didn't, we we didn't play, play a game, game but do you not remember him shooting from 30? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do remember that. You're not John Sounds, bro. You're not John yeah. Sounds. Listen, there's no point trying to say goal all the time, because we don't even know who half the teams are going to play. It's going to be, I'm telling you now, it's, it's Darwin Nunes. Well. It's going to be someone random who you never thought would have even scored. Like what, like Pavard last year, or last time scoring yeah. the greatest goal of all time? Where, like, it's someone that you go, well, not only has he scored, which no one thought, he's also scored the best goal of the tournament. <laughs> no one knew who Pavard was before that tournament. Like, and no one knows who he is afterwards. He's just there. Yeah, Fellows just kind of vibe got cut over. Uh, I think that's it. I think we've gone through Darwin yeah. Noodles ain't doing nothing. Uh, or he might. Got on the tournament, soon come. Darwin Noodles ain't doing nothing, right? I think that's a it's a fair one to to end up on. What do we? We're, we're nearly gone. We're nearly actually gone two hours, so I think it is time to wrap it up. Tadish could be a show too. We've got everything there. Golden boot, golden ball, winners, that kind of stuff. You just can't see it. Joe will take a screenshot and maybe post it on the Twitter. We'll see what happens. But look, that is it. I'm afraid it's quarter past 12 here. I'm tired. I want to, I want to watch the basketball and go to bed, right? We are currently sat on, let me see if this will check. refresh, 4,401 subscribers. So we have got a little bit of a boost during this. So do us this favor and help us get to 5K before Christmas. That'd be the, before the new year, it'd be the best Christmas present. A man like me could ask for, a man like Joe could ask for, and a man like Hugh Murray and Luke, his cock could ask for. That is what 599 subscribers we did in a bit over a month. I, I, have, I have faith in the boys. I have faith in the boys to help though, so share it around, keep liking, keep on, stay back for the music. Listen to your heart, man. Stay back for it. Look, again, that's the World Cup predictions. You can see everything there. You know what? I won't say anymore. We'll wrap it up. Good night. God bless. Joe, wrap her up there and we will see you for a video perhaps tomorrow? Maybe the day after? We'll see what happens. Go on. Good luck. See you later. Listen to your heart. Tell me who you wanna be. We can always start. Start to believe. Listen to your heart. Tell me that you understand. Cause you